Hi, my name is Jack Buchanan. I'm a junior at Lincoln High School. And this poem is called The Contradiction of Practicality. I come from my father, who like our pipes has had luck leak through his fingers like water until he caught a drop and got to finish college in seven years. I fight for a chance to be considered. I put hours upon hours in a weight room on a practice field, late nights with homework at the dinner table, and even later on game days. I do not do this because it is fun. I do this for my mother, who couldn't afford not to quit college. I do this for my grandmother when it took her till she was 46 to graduate. I have scratched and clawed my way to be eligible for acceptance, but I do not have $42,152 a year to see my dream come to fruition. It doesn't matter how suited I am for that position. Counselors tell me, be practical, realistic. So I think about the real world and how I don't want to miss it, how my whole life people have told me about it. It was almost mythic, but this prophecy is lost in me. Partially, I don't want to risk it. Part of me simply can't. Arteries tighten in my chest when I think of the future, or me as a loser who took on too much too quick and tried to fit it all in a paperclip, like 50 scholarships. Like I said, this is lost in me. I know how to write slam poems. I don't know how to do something practical. Practical for which you need eyesight like reticles, tactical. Foresight, something magical. You need to have it as ambiguous as it sounds. You need to be pragmatic, aspirations, artistic, didactable, your knowledge adaptable. If I do what I love in our real world, in a real way, I've been told that it's a real waste of time. It's not practical. Practical means tangible, means I can put my hands on something manageable, means I can't reach into clouds and make rivers from raindrops, means surgeons, mechanics, something tactile with practices worthwhile, not fluid, hard to handle. Your hands aren't water pipes. It feels like I'm in a whirlpool and I don't want to see my hopes fall apart. The disillusion of my efforts melt in the hands of people who seek to admit me. Like ice cubes, they drip onto the inferno of debt. This sentiment stays lost in me because I'm not prone to thinking about things practically. <laughs>